Give us the big finale, right, Joe? Oh, Hello and welcome everybody to week five of APDL. Now, this week is the last week of the regular season, so it's going to be pretty fun as we're up against Aaron, aka Apotheosis of the Makati City Manaphy. So he is always such a cool coach to play, play against, and our games are really, really intricate. So if you want to go see a detailed team builder below in the description, I put that there. We kind of dive deep into the makeup of the team, how we plan to counteract some of his team, and everything that you'd expect there. So without further ado, let's hop into this insane game between us and the Makati City Manaphy for the last game of the APDL regular season. Let's check it out. Hello and welcome everybody to the replay of week five's game. Now we're off last game of the regular season. This is against Makati City Manaphy. You know, he's bringing a sick lineup today. He's got the Fez, he's got Fion, Dragonair, he's got that Ooxie, right? And then, of course, you got the Perugly, which is so cool. And then Empoleon, so a pretty interesting team lineup. And, you know, we got the boys here. You've seen them before. But one notable thing is we're bringing Shinodic for the first time this week. We're just going to see how it does. You know, last game of the season, not a lot on the line. So I figured just bring up the Mushroom Boy. Check out how it goes. So... You and I both forget how this goes, so let's just play it out, see what goes on. So, good luck, have funds are exchanged. He starts off with Empoleon as we lead out with the Raikou. Pretty free Volt Switch here as he has got no ground types, so it's probably what I go for as he resists it with the Dragon. Now, Dragonair's coming out. We bring out the Big Hoss as we're just looking to do damage. Pretty sure, yeah, we got a choice banded boy here we're just gonna start rattling off earthquakes but he's got the levitate outsmarting us so we're not gonna be able to do too much there he starts going for screens which is interesting as we get off the inferno we got blender policy on this guy and we managed to get off the 100 percent burn so that's always fun so we go out into our meat hooks as we get a nice crit knockoff on the fez so he starts going for nasty plots behind screens, which is a nightmare to look at. So the weakness policy is knocked off, which is massive. I did think about going for the bullet punch, but I'm so glad I didn't, as that would have been a world of hurt put back right on me. Heat wave comes out, absolutely decimates us. Nothing we can do there. So in this range, Raikou, pretty safe to go for just some more chip volt switches. As he goes for Tailwind which is so cool. So not only does he get the boost and hopefully more from weakness policy, he just goes for tailwinds. Not sure what Perugly is supposed to do, but I'm pretty scared. So we're just going to our dedicated physical wall in the mushroom tip. He starts going for some shadow claws. He starts taking some chip from the Rocky helmet and we're just going to town. We go for the spore here, predicting anything we want to catch on the switch will be fun with that. So he's asleep, the spore goes off, and we miss our leech seed, which is super unfortunate. So we're just going to put the seeds up and start seeding away. As we're not sure what this thing's supposed to do, but as long as we get some more chip damage with this leech seed, we're hanging on and we're feeling great. But he does have leftovers, which is annoying. So we're just going to keep bolt switching. Perugly comes back in. We're going back into the wall, baby. And he can't do anything to this thing. So we're just going to keep setting up leech seeds and going from there. Bruxish thought we could be a decent option as he goes for stealth rocks, which is sort of interesting. So it looks like he has a bit of a phaser set. Starts roaring us out, roars us out with chandelure, which kind of sucks. Get that rock damage, but a little bit of that's you know lessened by that leech seed. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we just outspeed the Uxi. So he gets off one last screen, the light screen. We miss the inferno. We get the speed boost, but we just die to a skull. So that that was the extent of the week of the blender policy set. <laughs> Didn't really do anything, but that's okay. That's okay. It was cool. So now we're at this sort of standstill where I do get the burn, which is unfortunate. We get the leech seed off, but we don't have too much to really deal with this. 
So we get off a spore, get it onto the Dragonair. This thing might have shed skin, so it was probably his best switch in. We just start going for Moonblast, hoping to get some chip damage down as Fionn is his next switch in. You know, we're getting really good chip damage across his team, even with his light screen up. And to be honest, he, he goes for take heart, which is insane. So didn't really know that was a move. D amazing stuff, actually. We get the leech seed off. I'm just trying to catch up to this game. It's just so much is happening. But I just wanted to point out that like, we are actually putting in work with this mushroom tip. Like, it's so insane. Like, Fionn, not Fionn, Shinoic is so good actually in the right circumstances. Like, we're just kind of eating these hits. And here is where a bad player alert comes in. So we get the nice healing from Strength Sap, but even though I have this Pokemon on my other team, completely blindsided by the fact that competitive exists. So this was kind of scary. We're coming in hot with uh, some plus two special attack boosts. Not the best. Moonblast could also spike this guy's damage up even further. I'm really torn here on what to do. So I think the best course of action is just to get this thing, even if there's competitive boosts on the line, I need to just chip this thing down as much as I can, just so we can come in with some of our faster threats like Raikou and stuff. But he does have Roost, so that just, it makes everything way harder. As we gotta sort of play this game where he's gotta time his Roosts out while we sort of just get the last bit of damage that we can. So he's already at three times special attack. This competitive really going against us. We're going for the immediate swap as we sort of read he's gonna go for a roost and we're just gonna try and see what we can do. So we're just gonna set up screens with our screens Bruxish. That's right, you heard it. And we're just gonna set up the dual screens, kind of just keep eating away at this Empoleon. We do get the unfortunate burn, but the plan is just to get us into a safe position where we can hopefully just put one of our better threats in. Now, he does roar, which is very nice. We're getting the lead seed chip, and now we can just go for straight damage. Bolt switch again, didn't know if we were able to kill it, so we just needed to go for the safe damage. But now, with Big Hoss in, we're feeling good. He has waterfall, but we're behind screen. We're feeling nice, and an earthquake cleans him up. And at this point, Earthquake is just dealing massive damage. He goes for the Scald again. Cross our fingers, we do not get burned, which is huge. And Pillow Swine can sort of just clean up as we barely live, which that is massive. Purugly coming in, cleaning us up. But with Empoleon out of the way, that is just so, so such a relief. And we can finally clean the game up with a nice little shadow ball from our Raikou. So we end up winning that 3-0, which was in fact just enough to tip us over the edge of giving ourselves a first round bye in playoffs. So that's insane. GG's again, Apotheosis. Our games are so wild actually, like the amount of pivoting and maneuvering that I had to do around your squad. The Empoleon was nasty. The Fezendipity almost took the game away if i wasn't too careful with my move selection and just overall such a cool team you got so ggs again really looking forward to what we can do in playoffs um looking ahead you know things are already a little bit decided we're up against the saint paul steelix for our first round opponent so that will be super super fun but anyways i've been rambling so much thank you so much for tuning in to this game sorry sorry again that it was taken so long to upload but this is how it be, baby. So peace out, and we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.